Hello, my name is James, and this is a follow along. Um, it's going to end up being a video series for Ghidra. Um, Ghidra is a software reverse engineering tool. Uh, a couple of months back, a couple of weeks after Ghidra uh, was publicly released, I wrote this blog post on how to do um, C++ analysis using Ghidra. Uh, and the bottom, I mentioned that I was going to do, eventually do a, a video that basically walks through the example that I had posted. So here goes. Um, I don't know how many videos this will, this will end up being. Um, I'll just kind of cut it up uh, as, you know, whatever makes the most sense. But I'm going to guess probably at least five, maybe even something like seven to ten. Um, but I'm going to go through the installation and setup configuration of Ghidra, importing projects into Ghidra. Um, I've got an example here. Um, that you can pull from my GitHub. This is a C++ example, and it's kind of meant to show um, all of the features that Ghidra has to offer. Obviously, I'm not going to have time to to show every feature at the end of the video series. You should have a pretty decent idea on how to use Ghidra on a daily basis. Um, and uh, how to, you know, at, at least have a starting point in which you can go off on your own and learn more about the tool. So that is, like I said, on my GitHub. If, if you wish to follow along at home, uh, you'll also need to download Ghidra here from the, the NSA's website. Uh, like I said, this is going to be very similar to um, this project. So the source is source code is very very similar. Um, I don't know if I I think I just made well no I apparently did add the the source file for this as well. But I've changed it. I've changed the the source just a little bit for this example that I'm going to show. So. Um, I have got two files here, uh, two binaries, one example and one example stripped. And so the difference in these two, they're the same program. Um, as you can see, they are compiled with ARM or they're compiled for ARM. Um, they're actually compiled with this GCC uh, cross compiler. Um, I primarily do embedded system reverse engineering, so the example that I'm going to show is in ARM. However, it's what I'm going to show is going to be applicable to any of the other architectures as well: x86, um, MIPS, uh, PowerPC, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, the difference is the disassembly output is obviously going to be different because. Um, you know, here we're going to show, I'm going to show an ARM example. If, if you have an x86 binary, then that's obviously going to look different. However, the process is, is exactly the same. Um, the, so the difference between these two is the example binary, if you look at the end here, it's not stripped. The example stripped, it is stripped, hence the name stripped. Um, what that means is there's less debugging information in the stripped binary. Um, so it makes your job as a software reverse engineer 
uh, just a little bit harder because you don't have nice things like symbol names. The only time you'll have a symbol name is probably whenever you know you have something like a printf or a function that is, uh, you know, in a in a library call or something like that. Um, would be an example of when you would have a, a symbol name. Otherwise, uh, in the stripped binary, um, you, we're, we're not going to have symbol names. Um, so, to get started here, I'm going to go into Ghidra. This is Ghidra 9.0.4. It's at the time of this video, it's the most current version that they have available. Um, and this is directly, this isn't the sort, this wasn't compiled from source. Um, it was directly downloaded. So it would be a representation of, you know, if you downloaded directly the already compiled, well, it's the, the, the version that they have available that you don't have to get from source. Um, so in order to start it, uh, I'm on a Linux operating system. In order to start it, you just run the Skidra script that they have here. I'll show you what that looks like. Um, you can edit this to change things like the amount of memory in which Ghidra is um, able to do its analysis with um, and some other things. They, they, they have other options that you can pass into Ghidra on startup than what's available here. Um, I'm not going to go over those, but just to make you aware. And this is, I haven't started Ghidra on this computer, or this is actually a virtual machine. I haven't started it yet, so you're going to get to see the, the entire s setup process. Um, I've already, or I've also got downloaded here the JDK, um, which is going to be the, going to need to be uh, downloaded um, in order for Ghidra to run. The first time I run it, it should ask me for the JDK path. So we can just enter that in right here. Uh, maybe I didn't have to hit it twice. So, by the way, um, I'm not I'm not a uh, video making expert. So, this video series will be rough around the edges. Um, I don't I don't really want to spend a lot of time editing this. So, hopefully, you could bear through that. <laughs> um, so, uh, the first thing that you need to do is to create a workspace. Um, we're going to create a new project. Uh, it's going to be a non-shared project. And we're just going to create a folder on our home, uh, Ghidra project. We're going to point it towards that and our project name is going to be example and before we actually pull it up what a or before we import the binary um, what I want to do uh, so Ghidra by default has this white background um, and I I prefer a different uh, you know a different color so I've got a this is also on my github um, I've got a tool setting which this is the code browser tool that uh, is set up for uh, different background colors different test colors etc etc it's also got some hotkeys um, this is just an XML file. That's how uh, how Ghidra, you know, 
allows you to um, share your settings between you know between either yourself on different computers or between yourself and your coworkers or friends. So if you go to um, uh, let's see where is it uh, import tools, which is tools import tools. Going to browse to here, and I'm going to import that. And as you can see here, now I have a code browser, which is the default one, and then one that says more gooder. And then I can set uh, the default tool right here. to be more gooder. I don't know what archive is. So that way it always starts this one. All right, so now you can see it looks a bit nicer. Um, I've got some tabs here that I use frequently um, and we'll, we'll go over, over that in a bit what these are, but um, it's a it's a bit nicer environment and it's a bit easier on the eyes. So um, that's gonna do it for the setup portion. Uh, the next video I'm going to go through how to actually import a file into Ghidra and start the uh, disassemb disassembly process.